Many people are always asking the question, is God really good? Is he the same God that was good in the days of our old time patriarchs? Is he still relevant today? Is he still good today? Let me share with you a verse that comes from Nahum chapter 1 verse 7. The Lord is good. He's a present help in the time of trouble and he knows them that trust in him. Does God really become good in all circumstances? Can we safely say God is good? Is God good when the doctor comes in and he says it is cancer? Three days for him to leave? Is God good when you lose a loved one through a tragic accident? Is God good? Is God good when you lose a job? Is God good when you when you when you go through a divorce? Is God really good? I submit, ladies and gentlemen, the verse makes a declaratory statement. It says, God is good. A statement that fits all seasons, all times. And in his goodness, God knows how to afford us his grace. And because he's the Alpha and the Omega, what happens in between Alpha and Omega becomes an object lesson for us. We become victims of his grace. It could have been worse. But God always gives us circumstances in which we are able to bear the burden. I remember one time in moving from good to bad or from bad to good, there's always a transitory movement. We're moving from one place to the other. But many times we find ourselves in the bad because we have drifted away from God. And then we begin to ask ourselves, is God good? Yes, he is good. We just need to check our lives and how we relate to him so that in all things that we do, we may know that God takes priority. He must take the prime time. He must take everything about us so that we can afford him his due glory. And in experiencing the goodness of God, the verse goes on to say, he's an ever present help in the time of trouble. Wow. When you go to the hospital to be immunized against diseases, no one can safely say they've been immunized against problems because trouble knows everyone by name. It comes to our homes uninvited. It sits with us, it chills with us, it, it wants to walk with us, it wants to do crazy things with us. But you know what? After knowing that God is good, even though trials come, then we'll remember this God in his goodness is our strong tower of power. He knows how to redeem us. He knows how to, to be there for us. But the verse ends by saying, he knows them that trust in him. Wow. This verse suggests that there are people that God does not know. If you want God to know you, begin to trust in God and he will solve the issues of your life. If you want God to help you go through calamities, maladies, whatever situations, pressing moments, begin to trust in God. Begin to put your hope in God and God will make a way for you. It remains a fact. God is good and is good all the time. The next time you're prompted to say that God is good, say it with meaning because he is good. No circumstance changes God. But God changes the circumstances to alleviate our situation and help us go through, move step closer to Zion. Much into Zion we are. But we must understand, as we walk, we are walking in his goodness. As we move, we are moving in his goodness. And that is why David says, surely this goodness of the Lord will follow you. If he doesn't follow you, it must pursue you all the days of your life. He is good all the time. God is good.